All right, folks, here we are with Divine Intervention 2. We're in the finals. Penguin of Death versus High Res Pon Pon starting up momentarily. It's been a long road, a long two days of tournament action, adapting, taking Jerby out last uh, yesterday in yep. the finals. Jerby, that, then, this time, falling down to third place, or possibly yeah. third place. Yeah, we'll see. Third or fourth. Either way, he lost in the semifinals, so it's going to be Jerby versus Iraffer for that one, which is definitely a good match, but this one's going to be a little bit better. Excited to see what Pon Pon can do against the absolutely horrifying team that is Team Penguin of Death. In all counts, every player on the team is just rock solid. Yeah, they're all very talented players, uh, and Penguin of Death has found himself um, not only with two extremely high-level ranked players, uh, but himself, and then, of course, a notable duo lane, so he, it seems to kind of fall into the pot of gold here. He really has, and we're going to check out what he can do with it as we transition into picks and bans really quick, and I had my friends list. <laughs> And here we are. So blue team versus red team. That is not, in fact, the case. It is going to be Team Penguin of Death versus Team Pon Pon. So starting off, Freya going to get taken away as well as Sir Ket. I expect that Penguin of Death will reprise his bans from last game, and this will likely be Thor. Yeah, Thor ban is probably a good idea against Pon Pon. And so what's interesting is Team Iraffer and Team Pon Pon are pretty much the same team. Jungler is the captain, very strong player. Maybe a different angle, whereas Iraffer is more mechanically skilled, and Pon Pon's mechanics are honestly a little bit weak for how good he is. But his his mind and his calls are astoundingly good. So it's all about controlling the enemy jungler for Team Penguin of Death, and they did it last game. Sylvanas first got hovered on. I like this. He's very, very strong right now. Healing is huge. So this is a smart pick, especially considering what they've done in the previous games. Thor does get banned away. Option over to Pompon. Arathalos immediately hovers onto Habwa. Yeah, Habwa, Nuwa. There you go, Nuwa. Much, much better choice. Jan is still available as well. They have the option to pick up both. And with Ra being gone, that's strong. But they should know that last game they did go into Jean Kuei, And the Jean Kuei did very, very well. Yes, he did, and Pon Pon... Oh, Kali. All right, hey. I'm down. A little bit early? A little bit hey. early. Probably should have saved it for the third pick, but I'm fine with it. Pon Pon's Kali is quite good, definitely capable of carrying games, and always has been. He was. He's one of those players that made the transition from the original Kali to the rework Kali and like played both of them really well. So, can't wait to see what he can do under these circumstances. It's up to Team Penguin Death to now build the remaining four picks in response to that. Two picks of those four will be here. It looks like they're going to do the Nemesis Jean Kuei thing again. It worked very well last game. Why not run it back? I'm down. At Nemesis Jean Kuei is a great pick because it removes the primary, uh, the primary counter to Jean, which is Nemesis. And then they have synergy together. Divine Judgment increasing the damage from Recall Demons to a single target, uh, providing some bursts very good. We saw it up against Gab last gaming, and, and it worked out well under those circumstances. But Geb Kali is also very good synergy. The thing about Kali is she's all about extending the amount of time that she can stay in the fight. You get low on health, use your ultimate, that gives you another 4 or 5 seconds, then you disengage. She's great with characters like Geb and Afro that can add more time onto her ability to kill people and, you know, maybe even get her a, a chance at her target. So we'll see how Kali gets dealt with this game. It, it's going to be pretty difficult. Apollo gets banned out, which is smart considering how well Cobra Tactician did last time. And then there goes the baby, which is a shot to Sissy as well. It seems that both teams have done their homework. I like this. Yeah, Sissy played very well in the past game that we saw um, up against, I believe, Team Brad. Chalk, though? Chalk is similar to Vimana. They're both big, scary, hulking meat beasts that just kill everyone. <laughs> Rama gets hovered on and locked in on the left side. Kind of the pick that I thought we were going to see from the red team. Uh, final pick here is more than likely going to be a solo lane. There's a lot of options open with Ra being down for Penguin of Death. I wonder what he's going to go for. Yeah. Oh, Hercules. Yeah. Hercules is broken. isn't going to, like, beat Chalk, but he shouldn't lose to him. And then Hercules there's does the beat Chalk. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah. But, okay, so is he going to be it's, able to kill the Chalk? 
It's mystical That's my mark. Point. It's mystical mark rush, and then in the end game, you just do more damage than him. The only thing that Chalk has is that he can bait out damage with his ultimate, but Chalk's heal is nowhere near the same amount of healing uh, that's going to be put forth. Both of these teams should have divine ruins. Um, where they're going to put theirs on the red team, I'm not sure. Maybe Nua for the fire shards, but I'm thinking third item on Sylvanas. Get that online. Shut down the healing from Chalk, the healing from Kali, possible healing coming out from Amuz and Cobb's highs and life steal on top of Nua, possibly building life steal herself. I mean, there's a lot of potential there. Same thing on the other side. I mean, you fight Sylvanas, you fight Hercules, Jean Quay, and the Nemesis with the shield, with Rama actually using Lifesteal as well with Dev Gloves. Every single person on the team has a major source of healing. They do, and well, we'll see if there's sources of healing. Who they're going to give the advantage to? Is it going to be Hercules or is it going to be Chalk and the boys? Either way, it's going to be a good match. Team Penguin of Death versus Team Pon Pon coming at you in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back. Told you it would be quick. And it's Team Penguin of Death versus Team Pon Pon in game one of the finals. Coming out of the side of order, it is Penguin of Death and the boys still sitting in the fountain making up his mind. He's on Hercules in the yeah. solo lane with Ninja Sniper in the mid on Jean Quay DD Ruler playing support Sylvanas, which we saw last game. Collateral reprising his role in the jungle as Nemesis. And then Covert Tactician playing that ROM. Real quick, Penguin of Death's bringing out the build. I think we're going to see a meditation this game. We'll see. Either way, Mystical it's, Mail Rush, very it's good. It's broken, guys. It's broken. I'm waiting for the SP... Oh, didn't Divios do it? Yeah, Divios did but it. But Cogred can do anything. Omega did it too on Baby. That's just weird, though. I don't think no, it's, it's a No, it's not. It works. It's he you're You increase the amount that you can heal. Oh! Goodbye. Oh. First blood. Uh, that's guaranteed. Going to give that one to Sniper this time, uh, and they're going to let that one run away. They were a little out of position there. Uh, very late. It's always been a big pet peeve of mine. The game starts when you spawn in. The game doesn't start when the minions spawn. By them taking their sweet time, getting out of that base, they lost complete map control, and now have given up first blood. Yeah, that's a big victory, and you know, I, part of it is just people being a little bit new to playing in Sylvanas in a competitive environment. He's got really good level one engage with that route. That is really powerful. Hercules having the ability to pull off of that. Hasn't leveled an ability yet. Didn't need to use his pull there. So he does have options going into the landing phase, which is super important. But and that's Driving just... Driving strike. Yeah. Driving strike is so strong. It's a dash that stuns people and does ridiculous damage. In fact, at level one, it's hitting... Why does it have 95% or 90% scaling? Because Hercules had a really low win rate for a really long time, for whatever reason. People just, come on. Um, <laughs> but 365 plus 90%, even going full tank makes that thing swing for 450. Like, it's crazy. On top of that, and then uh, max rank, the boulder excavate hits for 800 plus 100%, Cret. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, Whose idea was that? abilities. Well, part of the problem uh -oh, is that... does Pawn have his jump? He does indeed. Almost lost the kill, almost lost the life there. Well, speaking of losing things on the left-hand side, blue buff nearly getting stolen. Malgeny will be able to pick that up, but taking a lot of poke for it. DD rule and Covert Tactician, they've got lane advantage, and Pon Pon now showing up in the middle lane, leaving solo relatively early. Not as fast as we've seen earlier on, but still pretty quick, and he's going to go directly for the speed buff. It has been pinged out. The rotations should be on the way, but this time, Pon Pon's bringing help, so he's not going to pull an Adonis. Yeah, he's he's going to get this one for free, and if you didn't notice, guys, he got there right as the Hand of the Gods was ready, which means if they were already doing it, it would have been a steal. Pon Pon throws down the Hand of the Gods, heals himself back up, and increases his movement speed, or rather maintains an increased movement speed. Uh, Rathalos in some trouble here, has been carded. Collateral comes in with a slow. Kali trying to burst this one out. Nice stun on the Collateral. Lateral, the Cobra Tactician is there trying to make something happen. Gibbs in the background. Didi Ruler trying to make a play as well. Only level two. He's got the dot on. That's going to finish him up. Kill the Sylvanas 2-0 right now for the blue team. But the fight's not over yet. Nice lash coming through from Pon Pon. It's going to get him oh. one kill. Maybe two. The B's not lasting well enough. Applying them now onto Cover Tactician, who's getting very low. Just 100 health left and not going to find a kill. That fight will be one for one thanks to an amazing lash coming out from Pon Pon. Just barely connecting with two people and forcing both of them out. Killing one. Pon keeps the dream alive. And if any character on that team is going to want gold, it's probably going to be the Kali. Yeah. Yeah, definitely Kali. Kali is... 
the thing about Kali that makes her so strong is not only is she a hyper carry, not only does she have an ultimate that makes her immune to death, but she doesn't care who she hits. You're like, yeah, I want to kill their priority target, but if I can swing on their Sylvanas because of the nature of Chin size, might as well. You're That's going right. to carve through him. Sylvanas does have heal, but he doesn't really have a lot of protection gain. Uh, he has a little bit, but not nearly as much as other characters like Geb, who of course can just put a shield on himself. Hand of the God's going to be used there to try to keep something off the tower. Uh, in fact, it looks like he's going to be able to keep... Nope, he actually, uh, actually accidentally drops that one by allowing him to walk in. Uh, so right there still, he gains 5 of 6. That's pretty good. It is pretty, pretty good. Oh, pull and push into the tower is... Oh, minion came with him. That is so unfortunate. It was a nice pull push onto Chalk, but the minion coming with did not allow any pressure. Oh, hold that thought. DD Ruler on the left-hand side. We caught out, forced out a little bit. Mid camps are up. So this is the hard part about Hercules right now is we're going to see some contention go off. Um, it, you don't really usually get 1,450 gold on your first run uh, mm -hmm. as a solo laner. You get pushed out a little bit sooner than that. And in this case, Hercules without mana, this is the hardest part of the game for Hercules. Still has kill potential, but still the hardest part by far. Once that Mystical Mail comes online, especially with Shock going full damage, he is going to start laying waste. But for right now, he has to play his cards close to his chest. He has 1,100 gold. He can't afford to let these in. This is 50 gold that he can lose right here. And it looks like he just... No, he just barely got that one. But here comes Collateral. Pompon's in chase as well, but there could be kill potential. Yeah, Pompon diving the tower out of mana, though. And this is going to end horribly for Pompon. Oh. Take it down. Fire Shards coming through. Collateral with the Retribution Shield will stay alive. Big plays in the middle lane, though. New Oz landed into a bad position. The Recall Demons are coming out. Exorcism reminds Ninja Snipa just what he did last game. Four kills to one in the left lane. There's still an engagement. There is not a single Kali player wait, in wait, the world wrong. who hasn't Up done Up in that. the air. Astral Barrage gets the kill. All nice. right. But speaking of Pompon, there's not a single Kali player in the entire world that hasn't completely overestimated how much mana they have. Yep. It, she is one of the most mana-intensive characters in the game. Lash right there just took a fifth of her mana. So when she jumps in with half, she expects to be able to do the same thing that Bastet could do, and she just cannot. And with that, Pompon falls down, couldn't fight, uh, quite find the ultimate, and that kill is going to go to the wayside. Yeah, I mean, what it comes down to is you just sort of go from only using Lash until jumping into a fight and you stun, lash, use your jump, you ult, you lash again, and your mana just disappears. So it it's it's the it's the shift, right? Like when you're playing a character that just dumps mana all the time, you sort of know what's up, but Kali is just like zero to a hundred, all of your mana's gone real quick in one combo. Speaking of knowing what's up, Nemesis gets the kill on Takali, which ensures mm -hmm. that everyone on the field now knows who Pompon has to chase down to fill health up. With use of Swift, uh, Swift Vengeance and, of course, the Retribution Shield, this is going to ensure that she can bait Kali into a very, very bad position. And the only character that you don't want on the field to be your target besides the support is the one that can run away from you. Honestly, think about it. So, the Kali was the second pick, right? Well, it was the first pick for Pompon's team. Uh, after a Sylvanas. Every other character has been picked knowing they're up against a Kali, and look at the roster. They're all pretty good at staying alive against her. You've got Sylvanas, Hercules, and Jong, who are just bad tanky. Nemesis is Retribution Shield and can dash away, and Rom has the ability to banish himself for like five seconds. So there's a lot of options to not die to Kali within the amount of time that she has to kill you. Uh, great stalling ability. Mid camp's coming up on the left side. You're going to see Jean Quay has put himself in a precarious position, but there's a four-man grouping right here from the blue team. Penguin of Death's rotations have been amazing. This team has been very communicative, and it looks like Pompon recognizes the threat and rotates away. This actually might give up both mid camps, as you are seeing Nemesis start to rotate over as well. Uh, Pompon will have his jump back up in a few seconds, and it looks like he will be forced out. Right mid camps, looks like they will go to collateral. Pon Pon trying to get some damage on Ninja Sniper right now. Kali's primary source of damage is unfortunately her Lash, which is okay, but not great. She's lacking the sustain. Storm Call, though, coming in, will find the silence onto all three, but not able to get anything with it as the team is just a little bit confused. Oh. A nice pull. That but, pull was dirty. But it was a chalk. That so is it like wasn't probably really nice the hardest pull. ability to hit in Smite currently. Oh, yeah. On the right hand side, though. Look at Shameless Soul. Very low collateral wants this, but he knows he can't have it. 
Yeah, that's right. He's dashing away. Kali uh, laying chase. Actually, just barely dodges the driving strike. Now, it's not late in the game, which means they can't turn around and go for the Fire Giant. The Fire Shards will go through, not really doing enough damage. And the ultimate coming out from Sylvanas will probably guarantee the fact that they could go for Gold Fury here. Pon Pon being very aggressive, trying to take this red buff away. And I think Collateral is going to let it go. Yeah, Collateral is just going to let that go. Red buff is a victory for Team Pon Pon, but it's not big enough to be worth contesting and potentially giving your life. Uh, unfortunately, Penguin of Death there just couldn't really find a way to f get damage and get what they wanted, but in the left-hand lane, Covert Tactician, who has been farming, now has a two-level advantage and is laying waste to Malgeny. It's all up to the Asperage. One hit, two hit, third, needs it, but he couldn't find it. Doesn't get Shout the kill? Shoutout to the Geb Shield. That Geb Shield saved Geb him. Shield. He was in 100 health, which means the 100 health did mitigate just enough to save his life. Uh, third hit was completely off the mark there, and Cobra Tactician will continue to fight, but doesn't quite gain the kill uh, off of that. No Gold Fury, strangely. No team has gone for it just yet. Uh, blue team coming out. Penguin of Death, of course, is up 1,200 gold and 1,100 experience. The other thing to mention is just AMC going back there. Sort of forced to recall at an awkward time, giving an entire wave up. Uh, over to Cover Taxation, who did not rotate through that long extended engagement in the right jungle, picked up a lot of farm. The difference between these two hunters right now is a thousand gold and two levels. So AMC is not going to be able to contest anytime soon. He's got rank one of his blink, probably going combat blink again, but that's just going to cost 900 more gold and make an even bigger difference the next time he tries to fight. Penguin of Death trying to push Chalk out once again. He should be more aggressive here. He has the advantage, given the fact that Chalk doesn't really have a lot of penetration. Not nearly enough to deal with the Mystical Mark damage swinging through. He's basically doubling his auto attacks at this point. Here comes the heal. Thunderstrike and Torrent already used. Penguin of Death should have found all six there, but again, uh, backs off left side. A lot of danger here, as we're going to see a big shot coming out from Geb. Double ult. AMC, though, doesn't have the same kind of damage. Even with that stinger on cooldown, the double ultimate did not spell a kill. And look at the rotation in from Cover Tactician. Has the ability to slow down AMC. Divine Judgment dead real quick. Now Geb rolling out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Cripple! Good play with the rolling assault. Astro Barrage is available. And going with One. Geb in the air is the wrong. It's the three. third. Covert Tactician. What is that? Eight for nine right now in the air? Very good. It's very, very high ratio, and that's going to be a Gold Fury attempt at the very least. Pon Pon just referring to base. He can't really fight this. This is just going to go the way of Team Penguin of Death. 7-2. I, I think this is looking already like GG. I mean, yeah. their their pressure is big. The team comp is stronger. Kali's not getting fed. Nua's not getting fed. Everybody on this point is behind, though. Right lane, Chalk somehow is getting this tower away from Hercules with pure defense. Uh, even with this coming through, I don't know if he's going to have the potential to stop it. Uh, Stormcall going to go off. Actually, Penguin of Death does get the kill, but he loses a lot of tower health for it. Yeah, just getting over aggressive was the Chalk there. Uh, thinking he could tank through the tower, but this early in the game for a full damage Chalk, it's just... Oh, it's not a full damage Chalk, actually, with the Witchblade. You know what, that's it. Witchblade versus Mystical Mail, because of the debuff of minions, sort of balances things out. Mm. No. Not is not nearly as strong, but Witchblade is an item that will maintain relevancy. Yes, and I agree with that. Especially off. against Nemesis uh, going up against Rama, that's a big deal. But Hercules just has a lot more damage at this point. He's letting Chalk get to that point. I mean, there should be no trouble whatsoever. Hercules can literally just pop three, walk into six creeps and a person, and tank through it and heal it all back up for the cost of two spells. But Penguin of Death is not getting aggressive enough. Uh, same kind of thing in the mid lane. Nuwa should be pushing out this Zhang at every point, but she's right there, right there. She let him move up to heal himself on that wave. That's the aggression that Ninja Sniper is showing. His presence is pushing him back, and it's giving his team enough room in the mid games to make those rotations that are happening. Left hand side, uh, 1v2, Cover Tactician already forced a combat blink. Astro Barrage again? yet again. He's going to wait for the Stone Shield. One, two, oh, three. This, would, this guy is unbelievable. That's going to put up 10 for 12 in the air right now, including, what was that, three of the, th of the final hit, right? Only missing one final hit, missing two little hits. In it's incredible. It really is. In the middle lane, tower getting pressure. Divine Judgment coming out at the same time as Recall Demons. This new Wah is going to try and go up in the air, but the DOT should be enough to get the kill. Look at that ghost waiting. It lands, comes through, yeah. double dash, finds it. Ninja Sniper will die here to Pon Pon. Oh, maybe um, not. It Sprint, looks though. like they have potential here. Guard. 
You know, I really like what happened there with the fire shards. They thought the ghost was going to do it, but the lifesteal from Divine Ruin on fire shards actually wound up healing. Now, Cret, I'm not 100% sure. Fire shards is technically not an AoE ability. Fire shards is a targeted ability, meaning it should heal for the normal amount. It shouldn't be mitigated. So, do you I would do you have know? to test it. I, I feel like it's... The thing is, I, I, I think the way the AoE coefficient works is it's more on the things are AoE than things are not AoE side. Like, Baka's ultimate gets lifesteal coefficient on it. Right, well, that's an AoE. Right, but it's also an auto attack. So, I feel like it, when in doubt, Wait, what? gets, like, Baka's ultimate, like the auto attack cleaves. Oh, Baka! I thought you said yeah, Bacchus. Yeah. No, Baka. I'm so like, I feel wait, like. What are you talking about? No, I feel like AOEs. it's gonna be an AOE from Fire Shards and get the 33% coefficient. Either way, it's a lot of healing. Well, yeah, they kept her alive through the ghost, but didn't quite keep her alive through the double dash. Um, but even so, with that Ninja Sniper, it's still level 12. But I'm looking at Cover Tactician here at level 14, keeping up with the solo laner who really has not even missed a creep at this point. Uh, Penguin of Death has opted into finishing those boots up. Uh, gold in hand right now, sitting on 1200, almost 13 himself. And the left hand lane cover tactician. Oh, rolling in gets the kill. He is Jeez. just absolutely destroying this dual lane. Cataclysm not going to come out before the tower resets, but cover tactician likely is going to die here. The rotation know. has finally come to punish him. We'll find out here. Uh, looks like he oh. gets a shot. The lash is going to miss. Can Shameless find the knock up here? I think he's going to. Pompon's going deep here. Pompon goes for the dash. He gets a stun. Yeah, the Geb Shield was going to be the one to do it. Uh, Pompon takes some damage, but not nearly enough to deter. But Shameless is going to wind up trading out there. And Nuwa as well does not have an escape on the character. Will buy time with fire shards. How's that back up? That cooldown's like a million seconds. Well, there's the recall demons going on to Pon Pon, who's really more important to look at right here is the Rip. ghost will kill Nuwa. He's going for Snipe, but he's going to get Ooh. it and find the heal, but I don't think he has way out against Collateral, who's winning the trades. Double dash away to maintain safety, just because not really sure who Kali's target is, but the archers should do enough here, and Slice and Dice will find the kill. <laughs> not really sure what he was thinking on that, that final aggress there. He could have just ran away. But he tried to get greedy, didn't find it. I'm not sure if that's the target. It looked like he got below 25%, so we should assume at this point that it's either Nemesis or Hercules. Well, I mean, well, now that actually now it's, it's Nemesis. Nemesis, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, finally, his tower goes down on the right hand side. Uh, Sissy One has just been able to pressure the lane, and Penguin Death not, not finding the fight, even up in experience, and just seems to kind of be getting outplayed in lane. He's going into Jotun's now. Um, looks like he has built Sprint as well. Not sure why the Sprint, considering he's not building into auto attack, but uh, even so, Penguin of Death maintains relevancy in the lane, and level 15 keeps him slightly ahead. Uh, looking at the overall gold per minute, though, Hercules not doing very well on his team overall. Actually, third or second from the bottom, actually, Ninja Sniper on the bottom there, whereas Collateral majorly topping the charts for his team, but Pompon still maintains top gold in the game, expectedly. Yeah, I, I think just what it comes down to is, I don't really know how Sylvanas has gotten so much gold. He's just sort of been anywhere, everywhere, leads the kills, and had uh, good assists, I suppose. But Ninja Sniper just hasn't really been getting the kills. He's been rotating a little bit more and using his advantages, whereas Cover Tactician's just farming, getting another kill in left-hand lane. Malgeny does not stand a chance, not even able to combat blink out of that one. Kali rotating in. But 1v2, DJ Ruler and Cover Tactician can probably take this. Uh, the other thing to mention, Cover Tactician is EU and mains middle lane. Wow. Yeah. That's not what I expected at all. I mean, the really guy has been play. incredible this game. 5-1-4. Uh, uh, taking a look at the damage, he is way on top at 9,500. 1,500 ahead of both Pompon and Ninja Sniper, who are watching in the mid lane fight. But Ninja Sniper actually winds up falling there. Pompon gets the target, it looks like, with the heal. Yeah, he did, able to heal up off of that one, and just, this is what happens when Kali gets chin size. Her power spike is so dramatic that it's but hard to account for. Gold Tree has been snuck by Penguin of Death. Uh, these two players are actually brothers here, but Kali able to get the heal again, and Pon, Pon suddenly is going to be a huge problem. Cover Tactician silenced out. Can he survive? Able to go up in the air. He doesn't have much health left, but the driving strike into the boulder. Pon, Pon very low, just under health. Gets the jump, does not heal just yet. A hundred less. The Penguin of Death will find it with the mystical male. Able to clean that one up for free because you can't miss those pulses and now Penguin of Death healing up in the engagement. He's going to be able to just walk away. 
he might be able to continue this as well. He still has a decent amount of health and very smartly pops Mitigate Wounds again to give himself another 220 health back. He can continue this process and maintain relevancy in this lane basically forever. Now in the middle lane, gonna keep his relevancy up there. Penguin of Death, he's still playing conservatively on this character, so maybe not super comfortable. That, but 2-0-2, two, oh, and, two, and with that driving strike, definitely made it work in that last team... Uh, excuse me, team fight. 16-7, to 6,000 gold and 6,000 experience in favor of Team Penguin of Death. Cover Tactician is definitely the guy to look at right here. 5-1-5, five, and five, soon to be building into crit, and up an item and a half over his lane opponent, so he is incredibly powerful. Outside the game, uh, congratulations to Team Iraffer for their third place finish, uh, defeating Jerby. Jerby, uh, in, three, three, in three tier monster tournaments, has taken first, second, and fourth. A huge placings for him, showing his uh, major ability to not only carry and lead teams, but play well himself, so congratulations to Jerby as well. Uh, nice pull. Pompon -pom in some trouble here as they get stunned out, but I'm not really sure why we saw that Book of Demons so early. That should have been a card to slow in the dash. They didn't quite play that correctly, and now they have a chance to come back into this ninja sniper not taking too much damage collateral finds a kill onto the new odd is trying to escape as pompon -pom goes for the chase realistically though pompon's -Pom team not finding what they're looking for and it looks like penguin of death team's gonna turn this one around well ninja sniper is very low needs to stay alive finds the jukes and pompon -Pom will fall wow. from the dot's if he can't get the kill and the heal he's gonna have a very DD tough ruler. time right there just pulled him as the ultimate ended to ensure pawn couldn't jump away that was absolutely amazing and again one of the if not the hardest move to hit in the entire game he has landed it twice raw and on very skilled player it looks like a four man silence right there as he gets driving strike back it looks like he's gonna go down yeah four man silence is great but when there's no follow-up it doesn't fire do giant? too much and now what are they doing they're gonna take the mid tower before going to the fire giant i think it's because their sylvanas is a little bit low or maybe they just want more of the structures and a little bit more map pressure i but think they're just not being right led correctly that was a fire giant call right there. And they might still get it. It depends on what Collateral can do here. He's dashing away. We're going to see. It. Really, at this point, it's all eyes on Geb. Can Chainless Soul find his way? No, they're not going to go for it. They're in the right lane. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they're looking for towers here. So they're looking for more map pressure than the fire giant itself. And I think the fire giant was the better call. But this certainly is going to still be beneficial for the team. Oh nice double pull onto God. two. That's the Hercules play you were waiting for. Nuwa will die. Geb will die. That is grounds for an F6 right there. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Penguin of Death with an amazing play. Diving right in. Pops the sprint through the honey. Forces the reset once again. And will be able to heal a lot of that back up. In fact, he's going to get about 200 health back. On top of the 200 health that he also got back from Mitigate Wounds itself. So, a really good play right there. Overall, from Penguin of Death, they gained a lot around the map right there. Increasing their lead to up over 10,000. Yeah, you know, Penguin of Death is just... Doing a really good job of engaging and disengaging with his team, uh, and and really filling that role of just being a tanky annoyance and nuisance for his opposition. With the Jones, he's going to have a, a few more options to screen and peel for his team. More driving strikes is definitely helpful as long as you're moving people in the right direction. And uh, speaking of the right direction, ganking onto Chalk with the Divine Judgment. He will storm call, but this still should be a kill. Beads used by Collateral. Actually, with understand. the three-minute cooldown there. DD Ruler can hit the... Oh, wait, they have to... No, oh, that was not the call. Penguin of Death, a perfect teleport away. We'll waste the ultimate, and I think the blink as well from DD Ruler. That collateral will be in a little bit of trouble there. Just forced to back out, but now Malgeni in a weak position. Collateral needs to dash away. Pon, Pon already having used his jump. Doesn't have many options. The ghost chasing him down will force the ultimate. He's going to activate it and try and turn Malgeni on the right-hand side with collateral. Will combat blink out as C tries to re-engage. Meanwhile, split pushing is cover tactician, so this is a 4v5. Nuwa up in the air. Pon, Pon around the backside. He's waiting, but he gets spotted oh. out on a ward. He was trying to re-engage, he just didn't know he was seen. This actually could be game ending right here. Nua about to go down, only needs a few more shots, trying to heal herself back up by using the Shining Metal with the Jotuns, or rather Bancross, not quite finding it even so, she'll be able to escape. Rotating back in, the turn might be real here, but DD Ruler not quite let, ready to let his team go. 50% damage reduction right there, doesn't find the kill and still goes down. On the left hand side, Cover Tactician able to get a kill under Phoenix, not using... Oh, well, he might have used his ultimate, but either way, 
able to get that kill under Phoenix rolling out runs out of creep so no more pressure there but he will be able to just clear the jungle pick up a few more kills and now it's about time to just walk into the fire chain and say all right come and stop us what are you looking at sorry uh sorry about that it's not professional of me i love you all greatly and um, we'll talk about it later uh right now mid lane um looks like ninja sniper uh is just the space control is out real. Like, wh what is he yeah. even doing? <laughs> he... I don't know. I Well, here he wants the red buff, and red buffs are good because they give you more damage. So that's definitely his thought process going into this. Um, Thane Road Death makes one of the more hilarious misplays you can do on Hercules where you accidentally aggro Fire Giant with your mystical mail. Right. Uh, rooted out onto Geb, will Driving Strike him out of his rollout, and this should be a pick on the middle lane. It's also going to be a pick on the new Wah. Geb a little bit low here, 70%. They're going to actually turn onto Chalk, who is relatively tanky, but Ninja Sniper coming in. Nice blink in with the ultimate from Sylvanas and the Ooh, recall on. demons. What, on, able what, to get out. What, what happened to that boulder? Pinball. Where, where did that boulder go? It got eaten by a wall. Mogani, though, getting very low. Nice Geb <laughs> shield, but not long enough. Collateral will fall under the Phoenix. Now resetting onto DD Ruler. On the left-hand side, Pompon's able to get out. Shameless Soul is surviving somehow. Astro Barrage could change that. Aiming for Pompon, missing Shameless. But it still will be a Phoenix down. Real quick, Covert Tactician almost took the Phoenix aggro right there, and that made me very angry. Covert, if you watch this game back, make sure to not take the aggro away from the Hercules. Speaking of the Hercules, I love that build. That is my favorite build on the character. It's a ridiculous amount of damage given his high scaling on top of the fact that he's basically invincible. Uh, with that, Penguin of Death has not died this game for the second game in a row so far. Not over just yet. Pompon trying to make chase. The, oh, the shield was good, but the pull was better. It's going to come down to the card, and yes, DD Ruler will find it in the background with the dot. And Ninja Sniper trying to recall there, sort of his only hope to survive was to somehow get back to the fountain, and uh, Nua just realized it and will get that kill. Cover Tactician on the left-hand side, down to just 161 mana, will be looking to recall sometime soon, as he doesn't have enough to fight with, or maybe just get some more farm, looking at gold in hand. He actually doesn't really have that much right now, only 900. So there's much feeding that's going on, it reminds me that I'm very hungry. Oh, what would you like to eat? Burgers, steak. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Barbecue, barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. All right. Did you go for the barbecue? I, I just got down to the south, right? I've just found a place called Shane's Rib Shack. It's apparently like a chain. They're they're actually like pretty good. You're eating at a chain? I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what does this world come to? Next, you'll be buying meditation. Speaking of, oh, you know what? I actually kind of like this active uh, decision nope. for Penguin of Death. No, nope. it's the double no, they flag. Need it. They, well, they need it really because they, they need the healing reduction just to make sure Pompon doesn't get that heal because yeah. right now the only chance they have of winning this is Pompon getting a three target swing. He's chasing it down right to Cobra Tactician who's boxing back and forth, forces to jump away. Killateral already finds a kill onto the new uh, They're trying to find something here. Both uh, Two of the major carries are already down as they focus their sights on a chalk. In the back line, Collateral is going to find a kill onto the Geb. They're going to turn their sights here and chalk likely going to go down. Ponpon making some amazing plays here will fall uh -oh. to the dot in the end but he played that 1v1 really well the surrender vote comes out that will be the end game uh penguin of death dd ruler and collateral would have been able to take that one and we're gonna move on to game two penguin of death though as a team just looks unstoppable all five of them are incredible cover tactician is out of malgeny's league yeah i agree I think the, the AMC pick's not strong enough. Um, if this is the only god he can play in this role, I would say switch him to support and have someone else play the role. For right now, though, Pompon's Kali did not do the work necessary to bring him into the game. You're looking for major amounts of carry potential coming out from Pon. And while he did do 20,000, in fact, he tied uh, basically three people on the blue team. He didn't put enough forward, didn't get online fast enough, and Pompon's team will fall. But they still have two games to make it up, and we saw something like that yesterday. Yeah, it is possible. I think Ponpon needs something with a stronger early game. Agreed. Kali, this, Kali has so much hyper carry potential, me, but... This, to me, is Thanatos. Oh, man! I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it. Ponpon Thanatos is ridiculously good. And being right now, Collateral, he's riding high. He's getting greedy. I think they need to pull out all the stops for game two. My call would be Thanatos.
I mean, the thing about Thanatos, Not a call though, I make often. Is it does fall off, right? Or, or at the very least, transition, whatever. But once you hit the mid-game, you suddenly become a different character, and Pon Pon needs something where he can sort of keep it rolling. So I think I think Thor would be good. Uh, even Mercury, if he can get that good early game. But either way, Pon Pon knows what he needs to do, and we're going to check it out in the next game, see if he can make that recovery. So stay tuned for Game 2 of the Finals in Divine Intervention 2, Day 2, Everything is 2. There's two of us casting and we'll see you in about two minutes.